Hello, my name is Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Soul Henge. And I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now, what I wanted to offer you today was a really beautiful meditation, which is going to allow you to sense and play with your crystalline light body, which is currently being activated. And you might have heard information about this crystalline light body um, in around the internet if you're interested in these types of things, which I think you are. And basically what's happening essentially is that our bodies are turning from carbon-based bodies into crystalline-based bodies. And this is happening so that we can have access into the fifth dimension and beyond because eventually after we've been through the fifth dimension and we are heading towards the middle and upper layers of the sixth dimension which could be in linear terms thousands and thousands of years from now what's going to happen is eventually we're going to become light beings and this crystalline structure basically overlays the denser carbon-based structures structure of our physical body so it's like um what it looks like is it looks like a fine spider's web which overlays our entire being and all of our organs all of our blood vessels all of our muscles all of our tissue basically it's like we are we have this 3d sort of spider's web which makes us up and all of the the shapes or the symbols, this crystalline structure looks like beautiful, beautiful snowflakes all interlaced and interwoven with one another. And what this structure essentially is doing is it's bringing us more into coherence so that we can pull in more light into our bodies and if you look at the dr omoto water experiments um i'll put a picture up of some of the crystalline structures um just now in the video so you can see but you can see what happens when water which is frozen is activated with positive based intention and loving thoughts what happens with the crystalline structure of the water is it becomes more coherent and much more beautiful in its formation and essentially that's what's happening to us this crystalline cobweb like structure which overlays us is making us more and more coherent and what's happening um is that we're changing from this carbon base to this crystalline structure so many of us are feeling absolutely exhausted, a bit discombobulated. We are being forced in a way to let go of everything that no longer serves us, which is dense in matter. So low vibrational aspects of ourselves on a physical level, emotional level, mental level, energetic level, we are letting go of all of this stuff. So what's happening for many, many people in the world right now is this kind of crazy upheaval, both personally and sort of politically and with all the structures and everything, as we are being forced to let go of this denser material that is holding us in the third dimension. As we let go of it, we're going to be able to access our crystalline light structure more and more. So um, what I wanted to do today was to take you into a meditation where you're going to be able to feel this crystalline light structure and pull more light into it and essentially into you so that you can really feel it and then i'm going to give you an opportunity to play um as a crystalline light being so you can really see where we're heading towards in terms of our own evolution and so what i did was i did this meditation with my class yesterday and it really was absolutely beautiful and before i did the meditation i kind of tapped into my higher self to find out a bit more about this crystalline light structure because i don't really know um much about it and this is what my higher self told me she said you need to look at this web light structure as essentially a portal 
into higher dimensions. So I think what she was saying is that as we take more and more light into this crystalline structure, we are going to have access to higher and higher vibrations as the light comes in. And what she showed me is that all of us have a thread of light which comes off the end of the finger of our left hand. This is the image I got. And which goes right up into the higher dimensions. So we're connected to those higher dimensions by this thread of light. And the thread touches our finger and then obviously we're covered in this fine thread. And she also said to me that the th as we um, begin to see ourselves as these crystalline light beings, we will begin to understand that essentially we are interconnected by more crystalline light structures with everything on the earth. So with everybody else and Gaia herself and everything on the earth, even inanimate objects, which of course have consciousness because everything is a manifestation of our thoughts and feelings. So everything in our known universe actually has consciousness. And as we begin to perceive this crystalline light structure, we really begin to perceive that we are interconnected with everyone and everything. We are one beautiful web of interconnectedness, basically. So she also told me that we are able to pull in light and give light through this crystalline light structure by just connecting to, to other things on our planet. So what we're going to do in this meditation is we're going to play with that concept. And it's really amazing. You'll see what happens. So basically, I'm going to relax you and I'm going to get you to feel this crystalline light structure which covers your entire being and to feel that light that comes from the tip of your finger up into the higher dimensions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to feel our feet on the earth and feel that crystalline light structure of Gaia which touches us and then what we're going to do is we're going to connect with Gaia consciously and ask her to send us light and we're going to feel light moving up from Gaia through the surface of our feet and igniting our crystalline light structure and we're going to just observe how the light flows between Gaia and us when we activate this intention for receiving and giving light. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play with this a bit more and we're going to reach out and touch something else on the earth that is already illuminated. And we're going to feel how connecting with that other thing, so it might be a plant or an animal or another person or an inanimate object, um, somebody in the class earlier connected to a wall, whatever you want to connect with, you're going to connect with it and you're going to feel and see this communion and this interchange of light. And what my higher self also told me is that when we are aware of our crystalline light structure, we can reach out and touch something which is of a denser vibration, so that seems darker than us. And as we touch that, we can consciously send that thing light, illuminating its crystalline light structure, and then we will come into a dance of light with it. But what happens when you are connected to your crystalline light structure is that nothing of a lower density can affect you. So you will not be able to receive, in a way, low density energy or vibrational darkness into your crystalline light structure. It doesn't work that way around. As an illuminated sort of web of, you know, as an illuminated web of this crystalline structure, you can give light, but nothing can, can sort of sap your light, if you like. It needs to be, or it is rather, a dance of a a dance, a communion between two consenting, I guess, aspects of yourself, because we're all one thing, but two consenting beings or things on planet Gaia. And the whole thing with this meditation is when you do this meditation, you really have a strong sense that we are interconnected. And as I've said on other videos, the only way that we are going to ascend as a consciousness and come into the fifth dimension and experience heaven on earth, heart-centered, present moment, instant manifestation, amazing life is to do it all together because we're one species. And when I say one species, I include every single thing 
that is on our planet. We are one consciousness and we are ascending together. So whenever you do this work, you'll see when you do this, this, this meditation, whenever you do this work, you affect change in the world outside of you because basically your, as your vibration elevates, as you do your inner work, you are sending light out into the world and you are affecting everything that you come into contact with. So thank you for doing the inner work. Thank you for doing these meditations and exploring, you know, what consciousness is, exploring the truth about who you really are and helping us all in our ascension into the fifth dimension. So without further ado, we're going to do the meditation. So as always, I would invite you to sit up for the meditation. And when you're ready, you're going to take a breath in and a breath out and close your eyes. And in the darkness, you are going to begin to attach your attention to the breath. And you are going to begin to deepen your breaths so that they become longer and slower, but without forcing them. And as you breathe in, can you bring your breath all the way to the tips of your toes, feeling it filling your entire body? And as you draw in your next breath, feel that breath moving all the way down to the tips of your toes and touching the earth beneath your feet. Feeling that communion between the earth and your feet and your breath and your attention. Kissing the earth with your breath. and feeling the earth beneath your feet, holding you, connected to you, touching you physically and energetically. And keeping your breaths long and slow throughout the whole meditation, can you begin to feel all of the energy inside your whole body? Feeling your breath moving through your body and exploring the energy within it. What 
does your energy feel like today? What is the energy like inside your head? What qualities does it have? Is the energy busy? Does it have colour? Is it constrained or does it flow? Feeling and noticing the quality of the energy inside your head. and traveling your awareness downwards, moving through your torso, roaming your observation to feel the energy within this space inside your body. What are the qualities of this energy here? How does it feel compared with the energy in your head? and traveling down your arms into your hands, feeling the energy of these limbs, your fingernails, the blood vessels within, What texture or colours or sensations do you feel within this energetic body? And bringing your awareness now to your legs your knees, your feet, flowing your attention up and down your legs, feeling and sensing the energy within this space. And beginning now to perceive the energy around your whole body in space. What does it feel like? Does it have colour or texture? What is the energy within this space like? Feeling the energy within and the energy without. Feeling yourself and all the space around you energetically. And dropping your awareness 
to the earth beneath your feet. What is the energy of Gaia below you? How does this feel? How does her energy interact with the space all around you? As above, so below. Losing all sense of your physicality. Feeling yourself as energy within and part of energy, above and part of energy, below and a part of energy. Floating with your consciousness, with your awareness of your energetic body. And now, can you begin to perceive a delicate, web-like, light structure of crystalline symbols and shapes which cover your entire energetic body. See these delicate crystalline shapes all over you, from the tips of your toes to the top of your head, down your neck to the ends of your fingers and covering every single organ in your body, web-like, soft, crystalline lace over your heart, your lungs, your belly, your liver, your spleen, your kidneys, all of your glands, crystalline light structure running through your blood vessels, your veins, your nerves, delicately woven through and over every single cell of your being. Feeling yourself as crystalline, cobweb-like structure interlacing through your whole being, making you up.
just allow your observation to roam around your body, observing these beautiful, coherent shapes, covering every part of your body in a soft, light web. Every single crystalline shape touching other crystalline shapes. Every part of you interconnected with these fine and beautiful threads of light. and feel the tip of your pointer finger on your left hand and see a thread that runs off this finger and goes up and up and up towards the light, a thread to higher dimensions. Feel this thread of connection, this light path to higher consciousness connected to you by a thread on one finger. And now feel your crystalline web on the soles of your feet touching the crystalline web of the earth beneath you and perceive how the whole of Gaia and every single thing on it is made of the same crystalline light structures as you. Feel these threads, the vastness, the depth of these beautiful shapes that connect you to the earth. See the beautiful trees on the earth, the flowers, the birds, and even all of the inanimate objects made up of this crystalline, fine light web structures threads of communion and consciousness that give everything on Gaia their shape, their energetic form, their interlaced communion and connection. And so now we are going to ask the earth to send us light through these threads and shapes to fill us up, light up 
and nourish the crystalline light structure. So in your own way, ask your Gaia to send you her light. And now, the patch of crystalline web beneath your feet begins to light up and it touches the crystalline structure on the soles of your feet, lighting them up in turn. And this beautiful light, so freely given, begins to flow and travel through every thread and shape, lighting up those shapes in your feet, traveling with light up your calves, your legs, illuminating the structures in your knees. Light enveloping your thighs, your hips, moving through, traveling through every crystalline shape in the whole of your torso, illuminating you, nourishing you, soothing you and lighting you up. Crystalline shapes, light snowflakes becoming lighter, traveling down your arms to your fingertips, moving up your neck and lighting up your head, your face, your brain, your hair, crystalline light structures, beautifully lit, all the way through your entire being. And as you feel this illumination, notice your connection to the earth through these crystalline web-like threads. Feel what it is to be in your light body. Feel the levity the illumination within, the ease and the freedom. And now it is time to play. So look around you and find a natural object on the earth like a flower or an animal or a river or a tree. And as you perceive this 
notice its crystalline shape, its connection to the earth and through that connection, its connection with you. And when you're ready, just touch this natural object and feel the flow of light that moves between you. Feel that wave of light connection, communion and communication traveling from this to you and back again. Light frequency information and see how this connection affects the web-like structure of the crystalline shapes of the earth. Light going down, light moving through you and back again. Where does this light go in your body? How does it flow through the web and through you? And look around once again and see if you can find something which has a darker, denser light, something on the earth or someone seeing their crystalline light structure but in need of a gift of light. And when you find this thing or this person, reach out and touch them with your light and see what happens. Feel your light so freely given moving through their structure, lighting them up a little more, touching each crystalline shape with light and love and see how this light now luminous flows back to you and back again to them and see how this communion affects Gaia beneath you both and connected to you both. And pause now, bringing your awareness back to your own crystalline light body. and feel this effervescence, this elevated luminous vibration 
through your whole being. And begin now to perceive the organs in your body, the blood vessels, the muscles, the tissues, and the bones, your skin, feeling your third dimensional self, but wrapped in this beautiful light web crystalline structure. And very carefully and very slowly, you're going to come back into the room and open your eyes. Thank you.